Um, so I first got into filmmaking when I was a student um, in CJEP at Champlain College in St. Lambert. Um, we had a creative arts program there and we would have assignments to you know, make uh, several short films and one of them was a documentary and it ended up being far and above the best thing I had made all year and uh, figured that maybe that was that was my niche. So The Frog Princes is um, a documentary that I co-directed with uh, Omar Majid. It is the story, a behind the scenes story of a theater troupe based at Loyola, Univers or Loyola Campus at Concordia, um, a special needs theater troupe. And we followed this, uh, this group for six months uh, from the beginning of the practicing, the, uh, the performing, uh, the behind the scenes, and uh, right up until the final moments when they, when they came up on stage. Um, working on a film with co-director, um, I, could see, I can see how it can be an issue, but Omar and I, um, we work great together. We're both actually come from an editing background, and so we kind of understand that language. And, and I would suggest that for any young filmmaker to, to think of, uh, or any young filmmaker that wants to get into documentary, to, to really become an editor or get involved in the editing process. Because um, once you have that base, you kind of know what, what you need to get and how that language will translate later in, in post-production. And so Omar and I both had that, and we both understood what we needed from the very beginning to make the film work. Um, and we both have like-minded sensibilities. So um, we've worked together uh, on, on other films. Uh, the, the Christmas movie that we're making now, we actually uh, edited it as well together. So uh, we're, we're a good team, I think. I think one of the main inspirations for me is to meet new people, to meet interesting people. Um, certainly with the Frog Princess, I um, had never been um, exposed to a community with special needs. And it was really a, kind of an eye-opening experience for me, meeting people like, like Rayman, who has uh, Down syndrome, who's the main character in the film, um, and uh, really inspiring. Um, and so I think, for me, documentary, um, we can do a lot of the same things now that, that we same formats that we follow in, in fiction films, you know, the, we can use the same kind of tropes. So I think a lot of those, those tropes that I find inspiring in fiction films, uh, we can carry over to documentary films as well. Uh, well, I think that the intersection of art and politics um, is something that, uh, as a filmmaker, you always think about, especially a documentary filmmaker. And um, uh, I think now is a better time than any that a lot of people are looking to documentaries to kind of answer these political questions or to, to address these political questions, and they're taken seriously. And so um, I think it's a, it's a good way in which, which we can bring out these issues to the forefront and get people interested, you know, and make things, you know, make films that are exciting but also accessible and also um, talk about an issue. Uh, I just finished editing a documentary on Christmas music, and it follows the... Um, you know the eccentric people that collect Christmas music and uh, and then the musicians as well and I'm also directing a film now based on a Ghanaian journalist who's a bit of like a cross between a spy a vigilante um, you know a celebrity and he goes after you know corrupt officials within the country um, and so I followed him behind the scenes and his methods that uh, you know, it's kind of the the fine line that he crosses between you know, journalism and vigilantism. I think uh, you know, Bruce Wayne meets, uh, meets Fletch or something. Well, certainly since I've been working in, in documentary um, for the past five, six years, uh, support, financial support has, has dwindled. Uh, cuts in the federal government have, uh, have impacted us greatly. You know, we still find ways to make our films, um, but uh, we would like to see more government support um, for our films. I think kind of going back to the way it used to be for Canadian filmmakers, as uh, we were, you know, we're known as that. That's what we do. We're a bastion for documentary films. That's what Canada. That's our creative output in in, in Canada. The work Cinema Blue do, is doing, I think, uh, is is great work. Um, like I said before, they're really bringing together people uh, around issues, and um, you know, I know I. I the way that they do it, I haven't seen anyone else do it quite like them. It's uh, bringing together filmmakers, uh, the films, and, and the audience together in a way that, that feels very collaborative. 
uh, and so you bring bring up these issues and again the the film is just a way for people to get together and, and talk about these things and I think that people feel more more involved more engaged within the screenings and certainly for us um, they acted as our, our Montreal world premiere we wouldn't have had a premiere otherwise and uh, it was amazing to get uh, the entire community um, that were involved in the film people with special needs to come out to the film and really get this dialogue going and you know get the audience um, get the audience involved as well uh, what advice would I give documentary, young documentary filmmakers? Um, I think for me, it's always it's always been helpful to to keep working. You know, whether it be on short fiction film, a short documentary, writing, um, just always be working towards something. Um, and then more tangible advice would just be you know, to get a good strong base in in editing and um, you know the technical aspects that come come after making the film. You know. It's it's exciting to think to, to run off to another country and shoot a film, but you know you have to come back and, and actually do something with it. And I think if you have that base, um, then you'll know better what you want to shoot and what what will work in the end. Because when you're making a documentary, you're just shooting. You know, you're kind of hoping that it will come together. <laughs>